Hey guys, welcome back. And today we have my 2018 Toyota Highlander. Uh, and today we're going to be putting on a trailer hitch. Uh, so let's get right into it. All right, guys. So first and foremost, we got to get the parts. Uh, this was bought on Amazon. Uh, these are t uh, true Toyota uh, parts. Uh, and it comes not only with the trailer hitch, but also the wiring harness so you can haul a trailer and have trailer brakes and trailer lights. Um, so we'll go ahead and unbox this and we have everything set out. Uh, we'll come back. All right, guys. So back here again, uh, we have everything unboxed. And as you can see down here, we have the main uh, trailer hitch receiver. Uh, that'll actually that'll get mounted under... Un underneath the car uh, and over here we have the rest of the parts so today we're only going to be doing the trailer hitch it does come with a whole wiring harness uh, so you can run like trailer brakes and uh, like lights and stuff uh, and then everything else we we're really only going to be doing the trailer hitch today so uh, everything else we have the additional supports that will go on the sides uh, of the trailer hitch uh, we also have these extra panels uh, kind of hard to see in the bag, but those will go right here. So if you if you look, this has a line here. This is actually a separate panel that needs to be removed. The U-Haul trailer uh, hitches, those sit below the stock bumper, but the genuine uh, Toyota bumpers or uh, trailer hitches will actually go come kind of come through this. Uh, everything else we have, we just have all the hardware. These are all big 17 millimeter uh, bolts, so like M15 or something like that. Um, and then we have the receiver cap. So for the tools you'll need, you really need a, uh, a 3 8 ratchet, uh, a long extension, possibly multiple long extensions, and a 17 millimeter uh, socket. So the next step is to kind of clear out everything that doesn't need to be on the car right now. Uh, that includes a plastic box that's mounted on the uh, driver's side over here. Uh, underneath and then also this panel right here we're going to also have to remove um, other than that we should be starting to get it rolling and get everything all back together so we'll, we'll come back we'll, uh, we'll do a little time lapse of getting everything removed and we'll show you all the mounting points of where this really really mounts up All right, guys, so there is a box on each side, along with the spare tire that you all need to take off. And then underneath, on each side, there's little caps that go in here, and there's three bolts you have to expose. And then up on the side, there's also two bolts, and that's on both sides. Um, and then you'll also need to take off that original kind of little bottom bumper part because that's where this is going to go now uh, so now we have everything lined up so these go face up and you just put in three uh, like M15 uh, bolts with Loctite and then uh, yeah so we'll, uh, we'll bolt everything up and we'll come back a little bit to show how everything went in All right, guys, so we just finished up putting the initial uh, tailgate on, or uh, trailer hitch on. So if you come down here, I'll show you the, the three bolts. Uh, you wanna just hand me the camera. Show you the three bolts on this side, and then the two bolts on the side. And there's two more bolts up top. And they have the same over there. Uh, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna set our 3 8 torque wrench to 60 foot pounds uh, and we're going to torque down every single bolt to six uh, to 60 torque uh, 60 foot pounds and then to finish up the tailgate we're gonna put on the little covers uh, and we'll come back when everything's wrapped up to close out 
Okay guys, so we just finished up. Uh, everything is tidy and put back together. Uh, we only had to cut one thing and that was the box on the lower side over there. We cut uh, the big, uh, one big corner out of it so it would fit around the, the frame. But as you can see, it's all on. Everything's tidied up and it fits perfectly because these are all genuine Toyota parts. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was informative. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, we have another video on this, doing a full overview of it, uh, along with uh, a whole bunch of other stuff on uh, you know, a couple of the cars in the background. Um, so we'll see you next time.